guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 3. Good stuff. Who's excited about this part? We're standing right outside Guado Salam. Yeah, you guessed it. The home of the Guado. Good stuff. We're going to be here for a, a little bit here. A uh, lot takes place, but we don't have to get into it. We'll let the game get into it itself. Okay. Good stuff. The Guado Salam segment is a really good part of this game. A lot of things uh, happen here. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. Ah, almost forgot. A tutorial! Customizing equipment. Yeah, we just got the Guado Salam, and it's crazy and different, and what's going on here? This way, lady! You know, what, who is this guy? But let's talk about this. Now that Rico has joined the party, you can customize weapons and armor. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, so customizing is used to upgrade weapons and armor by adding abilities to them. Items are needed to customize and add abilities to gear. First, choose the gear to customize. Note that some weapons and armor cannot be customized. If any of the slots in the abilities window shown at the bottom left of the screen are empty, that gear can be customized. If an item has no empty slot, it cannot be customized. There is also gear that cannot be customized no matter what, man. Now, after selecting the gear to customize, a list of available abilities for that gear is displayed. The amount of items needed for the procedure is also displayed at the top right of the screen. On the left is the amount of items currently in stock. On the right are the amount of items left after customization. Items are spent when gear is customized. Abilities for which there are insufficient items are displayed in gray. And cannot be selected, Bree. Oh! When you select an ability to add, you are asked to confirm the procedure. Select yes to complete the procedure. Who's having fun? Some gear get new names after customization, and that's always fun. This concludes the customized tutorial, baby! What would you do without me? You know, the tutorials in Final Fantasy X aren't that bad. Eh, they're not that bad. It would be nice, though, uh, if you could skip them all, but you can't. At least they're not that long, and there's not too many. Um, I'm not gonna say that's the last one. There is at least one more that's sticking out in my mind right now, but eh, it's not too bad, like I said. Okay, this is Guado Salam, and of course, I almost forgot, this is the HD remaster version. This is the HD remastered uh, Guado Salam theme. Good stuff. Uh, I was talking and things were happening. I was waiting for a certain... Yeah, that's the part right there I was waiting for. I'm just kind of seeing how it plays differently. You know, I could have listened to this soundtrack before buying the game and doing the game and all that. But I didn't want to. 
Yeah, it sounds like it's been, you know, lifted, you know, different things and cues and, you know, like most of the other tracks. I'm just really trying to listen right now. So yeah, this is Guado Salam. It's the home of the Guado. It's like we're inside a big kind of tree, you know? It, it's a pretty cool, uh, coolly designed place, you know what I mean? So we can explore Guado Salam now, and that's what we're gonna do. A ferocious storm is ripping through the Thunder Plains. Please remain inside. The Thunder Plains? That sounds friendly. Okay. So, folks, this is gonna be the Guado Salam segment. First things first, explore everything. Uh, second thing, find out what business is going on here. It seems like something's brewing, you know? So we're gonna get to that. And then third thing is, uh, finish up, you know, wrap it up here. Hey, Bray, you look familiar. It's called endurance training. Stay out of my way. Well, well, it's, uh, excuse me. It's a Guado player. This is Nav, this is Nav, Nav, Guado, uh, from the Guado Glories. Have we faced, have we faced the Guado yet? I can't remember. We faced the Albed, and then after that, it was the Guado, right? Anyway, he's a pretty good player. What do you want? I'll face you in the sphere pool soon enough. I like Nav Guado, you know? Go get him attitude, hard worker, trainer. Let's go down here first. Yeah, this is the inn, I believe. And uh, yeah, this is where we're gonna start things off. I believe Machin's in here. Oh no, he's, in oh, yeah, there he is. Shalinda's in here, let's talk to her first. Oh, how fair you, Sir Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. The Maester is also the High Priest of Makalania Temple. So, he administers both the Temple and Guado affairs. I hope to get an audience with Maester Seymour myself. I want all of you to say, like, the words, how fair you, in, like, everyday life, you know? When you're out and about, I don't know, talking to your family, just, oh, how fair you! And see there, just, what the hell are you talking about? Expression on their face. We Guado help the warrior monks patrol the road beyond. Why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? Someday when the Crusaders regroup, We'll want them to help us, too. Hey, that's good, man. I'm not taking anything away from you. Woof. Thank you so much for destroying that Albed contraption. Those heathens are despicable. I feel so relieved now. If you see any more of those Albed, you go right ahead and beat them up. The Guado welcome all guests. Would you like to rest here? Yeah, you know what? Thanks, I will. Then let me show you a Guado's hospitality. Yeah, a while ago I made a comment. It would be so nice to be able to go back. Why did they why did they always rope it off and they didn't want to design like uh you know the room behind the room, inside the inns. Yeah, be said you could check out the beds and all that, but usually it's just roped off. It's kind of silly. You know, it's it's kind of cool to explore that in inns. And then throughout the Final Fantasy X game, you know, Guado Salam is a little different looking than Kilika or Luca. You know, they're all different in uh, you know, they're all different in big ways or small ways. Oh well, let's just talk to Machen. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Tell me about the far plane. Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyre flies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. 
They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Care to hear about the far plane or the Pyreflies? Tell me about the Pyreflies. Ahem. They may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the Pyreflies doing. In fact, Pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Can't get enough? Like to hear it one more time? Oh, um, no thanks. Pity, suit yourself. So now we know a little bit more about the far plane and the pyreflies. I mean, they've been talked about a little bit, both of them. But, you know, Machen's always around, and he's always there to help inform and educate, and, uh... Thanks, Bray. That's good stuff. Now we know a little more about some things. Okay, so that leads out of here. The inn, we're heading on over to the second floor. Well, this place looks big, but we're not going to check that out just yet. There's a couple of guado walking around, and of course there's, uh... <laughs> yeah, and there's some homes and rooms, things like that. We guado protect the far plane so the dead can rest in peace. Excuse me, lady. Humans! Humans! A summoner and her guardians! Wait, I know! <laughs> what, what is this one talking about? Okay, this Guado is an odd one. Although we Guado differ from humans in appearance, our respect for the dead is the same. People come to Guado Salam from every corner of Spira to see their loved ones again. I bet there's an Albet Primer somewhere around here, too. We'll get to it. Let's go in here. I love how, uh, Trommel Guado, the Guado who, um, who greeted us uh, when we first arrived here, just basically, like, grabbed for Yuna. Let's go! And it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey now, Jesus, let's not get carried away here. Albed Primer in here, maybe? Nope, I'm feeling around. I don't think so. Do you see it? Lord Seymour instructs the Guado youth on numerous subjects. Thanks to him, I've learned about Yevon's teachings in the history of Spira. Lord Seymour is a great teacher. He explains everything quite clearly. And the Guado definitely have uh, a fashion kind of sense, you know. Definite, like, Guado clothing attire. The elders just won't give up the old tongue. I keep telling them how unseemly it is uh, babbling like that to guests. It's just what old folks do, I guess. Uh, please, take no offense. Still looking for that Albed Primer. Good traveler, prithee forgive us our antiquated prattling. Once all Guado spoke the old tongue, but when Lord Jiskel brought us the light of Yevon, the old tongue fell out of favor with many, and suffers now a slow demise. The youth laugh upon us as stale old relics who live too much in the past.
thou seemest wary, good traveler. Wouldst thou sit and rest thy feet a while? Ah, be like my speech perplexes thee. Tis old Guato I speak, a tongue seldom heard within even Guato Salam now. A dying breed we are speakers of the old tongue. I fear this precious legacy hath but little time remaining. Many Guado shun the old tongue, favoring instead the speech of foreign tribes. Tis a pity, verily. I like that. I like that a lot. You kind of get the idea that the Guado were kind of very separate, you know? They were, you know, I don't want to say ostracized or shunned, but they were kind of clamish, you know? kept together, you know, keep it keep it in the family kind of thing. Whoa! Freaking out there. And uh, it looks like this Lord Jiskel Guado dude may have uh, spread the Guado out, you know, like, hey, let's get connected. That kind of a, that kind of a thing. I mean, you guys, you guys dig it. You understand. You know what I'm saying. So, as the Guado became more friendly with other people, looks like, uh, I don't know. The old ways, you know, the old ways die out, and, and there you go. It's like a new generation of Guado. But we're still kind of there to witness its, like, new Guado beginning. Oh! Hey, let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plane. Listen. You watch that they don't get you, too. Me, you can trust. More than the Guado, at least. What do you say? More than the Guado, at least. What do you say? I love that sentence. Look at the weapons here. Okay, so if you've been helping out Awaka uh, back in the beginning, I believe he has some pretty good prices here. A lot of the things being sold are very similar uh, than, uh, you know, that that of the Guado merchant here, like uh, like 2,325 for these uh, bracers and armlets, the things that have lightning ward. We're about to go to the Thunder Plains, by the way. Take a guess why all these things have lightning ward on them. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna need these things. Uh, so let's see. Ah, one of Lady Yuna's guardians. How may I help you today? So let's look at these weapons. Yeah, see? This is more expensive. We're gonna be wanting to buy from Owaka. But a couple things here. I mean, I didn't check. There's some differences, some different things. Uh, I'm not gonna do this now. Basically, folks, we're heading off to the Thunder Plains after all of this, which is gonna take a while. So you're gonna wanna be prepared against thunder attacks. Come on! Okay, and uh, yeah, good stuff. Also, having weapons that like inflict uh, like water damage, that'll help too. That's why a lot of these will have like empty slots. So then you can add like water strike. There you go. Please return anytime. More than a guado at least, what do you say? Now let me look at your items, Owaka. Yeah. I rarely bought any items throughout the whole game so far. I feel like this is when it starts to get, I don't know, a little more involved. Yeah, right around here in Guado Salam. Guado Salami! My husband has long served as a guardian to the leaders of the Guado. These days, he accompanies Lord Seymour all over Spira. We probably ran into this guy, you know, saw him during one of those cutscenes. We imagine Lord Seymour will rise to great glory in Spira. Oop. Uh, I was looking for an Albed Primer. I don't think in this house. Actually, I believe it's the one to the left here. I think on the same uh, floor. A little bit raised up here. Yeah, over here. I think it's in that one. 
this right here can be overlooked. Because, alright, you go over here and then you kind of come up here and you don't... You don't sometimes look at the map, I mean, it's pretty obvious then, but... If you're not paying attention, you can just kind of go by. Since embracing Yevon, we Guado have learned the joy that is Blitzball. I hope that the people of Spira will find peace through Blitzball. I suppose you think we look odd, don't you? Well, that's fine. We Guado are used to that sort of thing. But if you ask me, you humans look absolutely disgusting. Still, what does it matter? Such nonsense is beneath us, no? Once a human child simply looked at me and then burst into tears. That hurt. So, uh, I don't know. Talking to a couple of these Guado, you can kind of sense, uh, I don't know. They always want to remind you that they are, in fact, a Guado and, uh, kind of a certain chip on the shoulder kind of thing. Remember, these Guado haven't been interacting with all of Spira for, you know, too long. Not that I know the whole history of things here with, you know, the Guado. But you can kind of pick up the vibes. Present yourself to Lord Seymour before approaching the far plane. Present yourself to Lord Seymour before approaching the far plane. So that's where the far plane is up there. You can't get too far to that guy, he's gonna cut you off. Alright, we've explored everything except for this little place over here. What do you suppose that is? It's like a... Kind of a pool, I mean, the, it's not moving. Like if there's some kind of water liquid. But you can kind of see like some sort of mist or, I don't know what that, I guess kind of like a mist. I like the design layout of Guado Salam. I wish it was bigger though. I feel like it really should be bigger. And there has to be more Guado out there than just the ones living here. Or do you think there's other like parts of Guado Salam here and we just kind of don't really see it or, how do you think that works, folks? You know, I mean, when designing Luca, you know, it's definitely a lot bigger, and, uh, you know, we just don't really get to every location while going through Luca. It's one of those places. And there's another place coming up that is very similar to that. But in Guado Salam, you know, you don't see any houses in the distance. You don't see anything like that in the distance that you just can't get to. I feel like Guado Salam has to be bigger. We just don't know it. Leave me your thoughts about that. I mean, do you think there are other Guado villages kind of nearby? Like, this is Guado territory? Like I said, leave me your comments. Let me know. I'm going to go in here, though, now. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm sure you want to let me get on with things here. There's the Albed Primer. Oh. Okay. Chest. Okay. Yeah, 3,000. You don't say. I think that's it. And there's a couple of Guado in here, so let's check him out. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Isn't this Pa Guado? Oh man, how how the hell do I remember that? My God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, he's a Guado glory. Okay. It's, whoa, whoa, salary ten. Oh my God, four games left. Get the hell out of your contract. Say, you play for the Besaid Orox. You're Titus, right? I saw you at the tournament. Let's blitz some time. Those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates were badly hurt. Paul Guado, everybody. And he's uh, one of the rare people in this game to use Titus's name. Interesting. As sole protectors of the Far Plane, the Guado are the supreme race of Spira. We are fundamentally different from the populous humans and the hulking Ronso. But that's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. 
let us welcome human and Ronso without prejudice. You know, uh, <laughs> if you're not gonna be... You know, if you don't want prejudice thrown your way, you're gonna have to do your best not to throw it our way. I don't know. It's just, uh, you can kind of pick up these arrogant, separatist vibes from some of these Guado. Some, not all. I mean, like, you look at this Guado right here, and he kind of dresses more old school, and he kind of looks more old school, doesn't he? But then you, you go and talk to this guy, this Pa Guado dude, who's uh, a blitzer, and he kind of seems younger, he definitely puts out a different vibe. But yeah, when you come to Guado Salam, you can just really sense it, man, after talking to these people. The vibes, the, the arrogant, the separatist vibes, the chip on the shoulder vibes. Interesting stuff. I'd love to step away from the Guado Glories and play for a different team once in a while. Why, if they paid me enough, I'd even play for the Albed. Ah, uh, this is ZZ Guado. Okay. Oh, you're paid a little more then, aren't you? <laughs> okay. You find it difficult telling us Guado apart, don't you? I suppose you think we all look the same. Actually, we Guado tend to have trouble telling one human from another, too. Hmm. Well, this game kind of does have a, a double problem, you know, using the same characters over and over. A doubling effect. Like, we've seen you, we've seen you elsewhere, I've seen you and Luca. I'm sorry! I don't think y'all looked alike, I just think that the characters are used again and again. Oh, yeah, the vibes, the vibes. Interesting stuff. Okay, okay. Ah, you see, I just, I really wish there was more here. I wish there was more in Guado Salam. It's a very different place. I mean, yeah, the most different place we've been to, uh, village, city, town-wise. Yet in the game, that's for sure. You know, uh, Besaid, Kilika, uh, Luca, and here we are here. Good stuff. Now, you know, sometimes you people leave me comments, and uh, yeah, you want to see what, what happens here when I, you know, it's not like I have much to do, but yeah, my L, there it is, right there, and I really have to whack it with my finger. My L2 button is, Definitely the most uh, chewed up button on my uh, controller. Whoa. All right, so what am I doing here? I'm heading up now after going throughout that little dead path. So, you know, I'm just plugging along. Plugging along a little bit. I am, uh, I'm not under leveled, but I'm definitely not over leveled. What, what are the extras we have here? A magic spear, a magic defense spear. We should use some of these things. A Lux Spear, and then uh, after you create that, you know, let's do that now. Luck plus four, and then uh, a Fortune Spear is the one you use it for the Lux Spears. Yeah, so now Titus's luck has been raised. Why not? We have some empty slots here. Look at Riku, she's at the beginning of hers right here. Yeah, nothing to do here. Um, anyone else? Kamari. Here, ready? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna give you a little tour. So I came down here, and I'm um, coming up here. I'm gonna get all this stuff here, light them up, and then uh, just a little bit up there to get that HP sphere. And then, uh, well, you see all the the level one blocks blocking the way right there, or right there, or over here, or uh, there's one up here somewhere. That's a level two. I mean, we're kind of getting there at the point where we're going to be getting level two spheres soon. But yeah, there is one right here. So we can go in many directions as Kamari. You know, the choice is yours. Uh, I think I said I'm going to do the walker route. And doing the walker route means coming out right over here. So I'm just going to pick up everything else, light them up. And then we're finally going to come down this section, open that level one P sphere. You see, Dark Attack, remember that one? Yeah, the Dark Attack, and then there's, uh, there's, uh, well, okay, Silence Attack. So those are like the 
base Waka skills that we learned back in the day. It's kind of a shame in a way. So like, oh, he's just gonna be a Waka clone? Well, I could make him another clone, but I feel like going the Waka route is is good for battling purposes. I like how we have this Ultima spell right here blocked off to us with all these level four key spheres. They did that on purpose. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it, man. I don't know. So we're here in Guado Salam. Like I said, the Thunder Plains is coming up in a while afterwards, after some things happen here. And that's gonna be the next time when I really, you know, go to town and level up myself, yeah. We're gonna put in some work. I'm gonna put in some work, you know. Gotta level up, gotta get ready. So there's like a huge mansion here. This is an important place, right? And we're gonna check that place out, folks, but not right now because I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think about all the things I've been over. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.